All right, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Super Gamer Girl here, and today we're back with another story time of how I played Bloxburg for the very first time. So I was playing Bloxburg. Well, at the time, I didn't have Bloxburg, so I bought Bloxburg. And let me tell you, when I went in, I was like, oh, I have a cute little house. And I made the mistake of going into build mode, which as a starter, that's not the best way to go because you don't know anything about the game. And my goodness, I did not know anything about the game. And I delete a wall. I freak out when I delete this wall because I did not know what any of these buttons meant. And I was like, what is going on? What am I going to do? I just lost a wall and I don't know how to get it back. And I don't know if there was a rewind button or a forward button, but I just made everything worse. I started building walls out of nowhere and I started like putting down weird stuff. And oh my goodness, it was the worst time a beginner could ever imagine. You come home to your room being spotless and you don't know where anything is. And so as I'm freaking out, I have no idea what to do. So in panic, I leave the game hoping, okay, maybe in a couple of days it will refresh and my house will be back to normal. Nothing will happen. That's what I thought. Can you believe that? A couple of years go by or a couple of months, I don't know, years. It felt like years, okay? So uh, I finally come back to Bloxburg after watching a couple of videos and being like, hey, I played that game and I deleted a wall one time in that game. Because I'm watching them build their house. And I'm like, yeah, they deleted, like, I deleted my wall and you could just rebuild it? What? And so <laughs> I go back into the game and I delete the whole thing. Yay. Am I right? But then there's a catch. I built my own house. Uh, which is not the greatest idea. Never give me a hammer and some nails because it is going to turn out terrible. Okay. I built a square box and a cute little roof. And that house was so big. I put a couch, a TV, a kitchen, and that was it. And maybe a bed out of nowhere. That's how big it was. It's like when you leave a house, that is how it's gonna look. I was scared, okay? I didn't know. And guess what? Me being the genius that I am, I believed I used the colors turquoise and purple because I was in love with those colors and I still am. But I, that was a big regret. Um, I don't know why I would color my house turquoise in the first place. It was so bright. Oh my goodness. And there was a time where I built an emoji house thinking it was cute. At least that time I knew where I was putting stuff. But I really wish I would have watched videos before I played the thing is with me, I don't watch videos. Like, if it gets too hard for me, yeah, maybe I'll, like, ask, you know. But other than that, no, I will not. Under no circumstance. I want to know for myself what it's gonna be like. But let me tell you, if anyone's starting off on Bloxburg, I beg of you, please don't use the colors turquoise and purple unless you know where it's gonna go. Also, I wish I would have known that before. It's just a lot easier. And we're not even gonna talk about the first time that I actually looked up a real house and tried to build it. It did not end so well. I did not like the house. I enjoy Bloxburg homes much more. And then that's when they say, this is based off a real house. And I'm like, what the frick? So you're telling me you built that, but I can't even look at a picture and build it. The closest I can get, like, I look at the front and I'm like, okay, it's done. And what goes on the sides? What, what is going to be the side? So I try to find more to that picture. Nothing. Nada. I found the blueprints and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Worst time ever. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and also comment down below. What is a game that you wish you knew more about before you played? And until next time, kids and rails, bye guys!